welcome to another episode of Boring History. My name is Angela and today we're going to be hearing all about Christmas stockings and trying to find out just who thought it was a good idea to hang some socks up on the mantelpiece and expect some presents. Now the first, or at least one of the earliest mentions in text of Christmas stockings being hung, we can find in Clement Clark Moore's poem, A Visit from St Nicholas, which was originally published anonymously in a newspaper on December the 23rd in 1823. And if you are familiar with that poem, then you'll know that there's a line which says, And the stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in the hopes that St Nicholas soon would be there. Our first mention of the Christmas stocking. Actually, this poem did quite a bit when it came to establishing Christmas traditions or perhaps we should say stereotypes. Things like a happy, jolly version of Santa and the eight names of the reindeer all kind of stem from this poem. But let's move on, because even though this poem is one of the earliest mentions of Christmas stockings, it by no means invented the tradition. And there are two possible origins of the Christmas stocking that I'll share with you today. One involves good old Saint Nick and the other is based on a Dutch folklore. So let's begin with story number one. The original Saint Nicholas was most likely born in around 270 AD and he had been born to wealthy parents. Unfortunately, his parents had died when he was quite young. But in memory of his parents who had been devout Christians, he became a bishop and he dedicated his life to helping the poor. And to be honest, his life story would also make for an interesting video. He gets banished by a Roman emperor, imprisoned, and an Indiana Jones worthy artifact is thought to have formed at his grave. But instead, let's continue with our story about the Christmas stocking. Nicholas had never married. He was a bishop and he led a life of celibacy. But he did love children and he liked to make them happy by giving them little gifts. But because he was a humble guy and he didn't want the children to know that it was he who had left the presents, he often liked to leave the gifts in the middle of the night. Then one day, Nicholas was travelling through a village where a once wealthy merchant lived with his daughters. The merchant had practically lost all of his wealth overnight when his ships exploded. Or something. I don't know if they actually exploded, but we'll just go with that. Anyway, the once wealthy merchant was extremely worried about his daughter's future. Because obviously, back in the day, if you didn't have a dowry for your daughter, her chances of marriage and a good life were pretty low. And without a good marriage, it was very unlikely that the daughters would have a good life ahead of them. During his time at the village, Nicholas was told about the merchant and his plight. And he was also told that the merchant was an extremely proud man who didn't want any charity. So Nicholas comes up with a plan, and one evening when he's riding his majestic steed down the cobblestone roads, he comes to a stop at the front of the merchant's house. And he takes out three bags filled with gold and he throws them down the merchant's house chimney. Luckily, the daughters had hung their socks, or their stockings, at the fireplace to dry. So when all the gold came tumbling down the chimney, it conveniently landed in their stockings. The next morning, when the family came down to collect their socks, they were overjoyed to find that they were now filled with gold. And the merchant's daughters all ended up having happy marriages and happy lives. And the story of how they had reacquired their wealth spread through the village and it inspired other children to also hang stockings at their fireplace in the hope that St Nicholas would also come to visit. The end. Cute story, right? Alright, so let's quickly move on to our Dutch folklore. In the Netherlands, Santa has an assistant that he travels around with. And this assistant isn't an elf. Apparently, every year, Santa and his assistant travel to different portside towns. And once they disembark, Santa sits atop a majestic white seed and his assistant atop a cute little mule. And they start to head inland to visit all the good girls and boys. Now, the children are always super excited for their visit, but they also appreciate that they've travelled quite a way to come and see them. So, as a type of thank you, they leave out bits of hay and carrots in their wooden clogs 
so that the majestic white seed and the cute little mule have something to eat. And Sandra and his assistant really appreciate these little acts of kindness. And every time their animals eat the treats that have been left out for them, they replenish the clogs with little presents. They leave things such as lollies, beautiful Christmas decorations, nuts and mini toys. Now apparently the wooden clogs turned into stockings when the Dutch began to immigrate to America. And of course they brought their traditions with them. And of course, as tends to happen over time, these traditions evolved to match the settlers' new lives and home. The end. Do you hang up stockings over Christmas? What do you usually get in them? Let me know in the comment section down below. Now I've also left a link down below to a version of the original Twas the Night Before Christmas if you'd like to have a read of that. Otherwise, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you'll consider subscribing because I look forward to sharing even more boring history with you in the future.